How challenging is it to bounce from position to position like you have? I mean, you played a different, new position last Friday mm -hmm. for you. So how, how challenging is that? Uh, it's not pretty. It's not that challenging. You know, you know, one thing that Coach Dunn loves is you know players that can play anywhere on the field. You know, that helps him especially to be able to move guys around, such like me. And you know, we had more guys like Cabby, but he had an injury, but he will be back soon. And, you know, he just, you know, coaches love that to see, you know, players that can be able to move around and be versatile and everything. Do you take pride in that? Oh, for sure. Most definitely. Yeah. Just try to help, you know, the team be as best as we can be and, you know, play wherever they ask me to play. Is it, is it them coming to you saying, hey, we need you to move to this spot today? Or are you saying, hey, I can Oh, it's kind of more of them, you know, saying, like, they need me in this position or anything. So I just kind of go wherever, you know, they tell me or point me to. And I just, you know, <laughs> keep learning and just study it and everything. Some running back right? Yeah. Did you ever think, hey, maybe I I'll be playing around saying that. And actually, during the bowl game last year, you know, we had a lot of injuries and stuff. So they actually had me practicing that running back just in case, you know, Ollie and Jay Nix went down. So it was actually kind of funny that you kind of brought that up. A guy in your position who's bounced around a lot, the transfer portal is ready to leave in. Why have you stuck it out here? Uh, just because, you know, the relationships I didn't built with just, you know, not just the teammates and with the coaches and everything, just, you know, the foundation about this, the, I mean, this school, you know, I love the energy and I love, you know, the history behind the school. So, you know, that's the reason why I stayed here. And I just didn't want to, you know, create, like start a whole new journey over again. So I might as well just stick it out and, you know, finish it. Do you come to practice in the normal position you're going to play that day or do they mix it up on you? <laughs> Uh, I kind of, you know, I kind of usually know what position I'm okay. about to play. They usually tell me during like meetings if I'm gonna end up switching or or move around or anything. Okay, I just mm. see, maybe it's sometimes like, hey, wait, we need you over here. Go over here and they grab yeah. you. So it just seems like it could could yeah. happen to you. <laughs> yeah. So whenever anybody need a breather or anything, even if I'm in the game, you know, I'll move to that side and then somebody else will come in from my position spot or whatever. How much do you weigh right now? Two thirty. Two thirty. Well, I lied. I was 230. I was maybe like 225 right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Has that been the toughest thing for you with all those position changes? They asked you to bulk up. Now they're asking you to slim down. Has that kind of been kind of the, the tough thing the last you know year, I guess? I don't know. Uh, it's, it's been challenging, but at the end of the day, you know, I just kind of push myself over the limits that they asked me to. And, you know, I just try to, you know, keep within a certain weight that can keep me healthy and keep me going and everything and just move fast as I can. How do you do that? How do you go back and forth like that? Uh, it's usually kind of just maintain and, you know, try to keep a lower weight instead of being, you know, in a higher weight range now that I'm back at receiver fully. So I just, you know, try to stay eating healthy and everything, try to watch what I eat and I eat as much meals as I would as if I was at tight end still. And then I'll just, you know, like I said, I'll just work harder and then just try to break more sweat and everything. Did you increase your meals for tight end? Yeah. Did you? Okay. Yeah, so most of that now? Uh, it's probably maybe like one and a half, two meals a day at most. So just two full meals? Uh, or just extra meals? That's your extra I'd meal? probably say it's more of a lunch and kind of a dinner type okay. of thing. It ain't like crazy meals, but it's just like something small that I can just snack on it.